Hello everybody, my name is Will, and welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. Last time we made a pact to summon Spirit of Light, Luna and Aska, and the, the giant tree of Carlin went out of control. And in this episode, we're going to see if we can put a stop to it by uh, going into the Zalia Ranch, and Kratos is with us. Um, anyway, we're going to come over here to get a Rune Helm. Uh, I want to give this to Zelos. Uh, by the way, speaking of Kratos, I probably should go over, um, his equipment and everything. He d his equipment you cannot change. He has the flame bridge for, um, for his weapons. He also has some pretty good armor. As well as, um, this ring that reduces TP con- Eh, yeah, um, sorry. Uh, that reduces TP consumption by 50%. Also, um, for tech, he still has quite a few, uh, arts he's about to learn, but, uh, one move that he didn't have last time was Guardian Field, which is, um, which is an art that, uh, Kratos can learn, but Zelos can't, Zelos can't, because, as you remember, Zelos and Kratos are, learn the same arts and have the same equipment, same everything, pretty much. Um, yeah, uh, Guardian Field is exclusive to Kratos, um... Anyway, we're going to start off by using a Holy Bottle, just so we don't run into enemies. There's another save point here, which seems kind of redundant, since there's one right outside. Anyway, we can change the Sorcerer's string here. Well, a uh, kind of warm light came out of it. It's the light of mana. This is mana? Be careful. If you release too much from your body's mana, um... If you release too much of your body's mana, you will exhaust it. Uh, okay. Alright, so, uh, this looks really pretty if you actually shoot it. It looks like... A Looks like a rainbow. It looks really awesome. Anyway, if we come up here, this is the mana reactor. Can't we just destroy the ranch? If we're going to do that, we have to rescue the captives. We don't have time this time around. Let's destroy or stop just the mana reactor while rescuing Tokelot and the others. Where are the captives held? Around here, I think. That's on the way to the mana reactor. We may be able to rescue them um, all the same. There's insignificant time. It would be a 70% loss. It's the same as in Kavard's range. We will have to divide into teams. What should we do, Lloyd? I'll go into a mana reactor. Cho anyway, uh, Choklot hates me anyway. Okay, then pick your members for your team, Lloyd. Alright, so we're going to have to split into teams here. So, um, I'm going to choose Zelos, obviously. <laughs> he wants to be on the team with the most girls. Um, I'm so loved. Yeah, you all... You always are zealous. Um, I'll choose Kratos. And, you know, because why not? Special occasion that he's in our party. And, of course, obviously we need Rain, because she can heal. Alright, let's go with this. I'll have these three come with me. You know, I'd really prefer to avoid danger if I could. <laughs> I will observe how far your skills with the blade have progressed. Leave the machines to me. It would be best not to split our forces until we reach the captives. Gotcha. Looks like we can use uh, the facilities here. Don't neglect to prepare for battle. Alright, so they're going to be with us for just a little bit, but then once we reach the captives, they're going to part ways with us. Anyway, there's lovely mittens in there. Um, I'll give that to Rain. Uh, yeah. Actually, no, they're pretty much the same as the thing we have on already. Um... I guess really, what's the point of equipping that then? Alright. Uh, continuing on here. Uh, there are these lights here, which, if you touch them, you'll take damage. So, yeah, don't you don't want to go touching them. Alright, so, um, this area is actually not all that difficult. Uh, there is a ton of chests in this area. Um, like, just pretty much just equipment and weapons, which is really awesome. So, you're going to be getting a ton of new equipment here. Um, which is really, which is really good. Um, I didn't even pay a slice bit of attention of what we got there. Um, I know we got a weapon for Lloyd, but I wasn't paying any attention. Alright, so we got a weapon for Genus and Colette. Uh, so let's equip to those. A Solar Spinner and a Corleonis. But yeah, no EX gems or anything like that. Or no, just regular healing items. Just armor and weapons, which is really awesome. So, Rune Staff... Either sort of, well, of course, I like EX gems, but still, getting all of, we get a ton of equipment in here, which is awesome. New weapon for rain, and um, I guess there's nothing else over here besides just fighting these guys, which we really don't need to do. 
Uh, actually, real quick, I want to organize Kratos's tech. Uh, I actually do want to play as him. Because, you know, it's a special occasion. So, I'm going to do that real quick. Um, uh, just, the problem is what to quit. Um, Alright, I think I, I think I've decided. Alright. I want, uh, Zelos, uh, no, not Lloyd, Zelos, uh, to use Hurricane Frost for a unison attack, but for Kratos's tech, I'm gonna go with, um, he doesn't have Super Lightning Blade yet. Um, I want to show off Guardian Field, so I'll equip that, and, uh, yeah, I don't have any of the Lightning Blade attacks yet, so I think I'll wait on that. I should probably get in a battle just so I can use some of Kratos' techs, but, um, we'll, we'll be de definitely doing some fighting, of course, obviously, but we'll fight some other enemies eventually. Uh, alright, so we can, um, we can open that door by shooting both of those things with, um, the mana, um, Sorcerer's Ring, and ow, ow, I did not want to take damage with that, I mean, that does a decent amount of damage. Bodies made a break for it when they heard you were here. You'll pay for this. You like kicking people around, huh? Well, now it's payback time. I kind of liked how they were just like, they were just like randomly kicking, um, oh, I did not mean to do that. They were just like kicking Lloyd and Clut in the crotch, which I find kind of funny for some reason. Uh, Victory Lightning Spear. Can I learn some of the other ones? Uh, yeah, Lightning Blade. That's what I wanted. I want to equip to that, um, immediately. Uh,. There we go. And should be able to learn. Yeah, Super Lightning Blade. Alright, and I'll get that. I don't really have any EX gems on Kratos because I didn't really have too many on him in Silver on either. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're actually the same. I never really bothered to change them since Kratos was a temporary party member for that point of the game. Uh, speaking of Kratos, he got the title Battle God. Thank you. Are there any others here? I think the people in the other rooms managed to get away already. We'll make sure they make it out safely. Thanks. And I'll see to shutting down that mana reactor. Let's get going. I... If you don't want to be saved by me, just consider yourself rescued by the Chosen. Now hurry and go! Alright, um... I don't know why Blade was put in the front for some reason, um, because I want to keep playing as Kratos, again, for this special occasion that he is in our party, because, you know, he's, Kratos often isn't in our party, anyway, so everyone else left us, um, to go take care of the captives, so, uh, we're just with these four people that we chose, uh, alright, so, coming over here, we have a chest with a rune rope, okay, I'll give that to Rain. I actually think that Kraus's EX skills, yeah, they're pretty much unchanged. I never really bothered to change them in Silverot for some reason. I, I just didn't really feel like wasting any on him. Well, I mean, besides, like, DX gem level 1s and 2s weren't very good at that point of the game anyway. Rune Shield, Rune Mail, so I'm gonna give, uh... Let's just give those both to Zellos. Why not? And, um... Alright. I'll use another holy bottle so we don't have to fight any of these guys. I don't want to really fight too many enemies. Even though I guess, you know, we could use it and that stuff, but, um, we always could use experience, but, you know, I just want to get through this as quickly as possible. This dungeon is really short, actually. As long as you don't fight too many enemies, this dungeon is just so quick. Hairpin and Rune Gauntlet. Yeah, we're getting so many things. Um... 
Um, I don't really want to replace those claw gauntlets. By the way, I don't think I actually mentioned these, but we got these claw gauntlets the first time we went to Mel Tokyo. That's how long we've had these on, by the way. I don't think I actually mentioned that at the time, how amazing these things are. <laughs> um, and that's not going to help Zelos much either, so I think I'm going to save them for now. Um, anyway, continuing on. Now, uh, I believe this way maybe I can go. I'm not 100% sure. Um, actually, no, let's go down here first. Let's go, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna head down here and up. Uh, Alright, fine. I'll fight you. I need to build up my unison attack gauge anyway. Alright. Go time. I don't think I actually showed off um, Kratos and Zealous's Lightning Blade and Super Lightning Blade combo. Um, because that's actually a very good combo. If you just spam it. Really, you can make any combo by spamming and, like, equipping, like, Super Chain or something. Well, except for, like, the magic users. Um. Anyway. So, coming over here, we have two chests, a uh, Rune Cloak and Rune Circlet. Um. Actually, no, none of those will really be all that useful, I think. Uh, so, continuing on. I want to avoid you, yes, and you guys also, there's a lot of enemies in here. Um, I believe one of these enemies actually does have the, no, this enemy in here has the memory chip. I act, okay, uh, Warhammer, I'm guessing that's for Persea. Uh, yes it is. Now let's fight this guy, because I am 90% sure he has the memory chip for this area. So, uh, we're only up to 12 minutes. Wow, I knew this would be quick. Jeez. Uh, alright. Anyway, let's just finish this guy. Or these guys. Um. Vital Eye seemed a little unnecessary, but whatever. Alright. And, uh, okay. Stop missing. Beings? All right. Uh, yes, Memory Gem, and also Zello's gotta level up. Now, this right here, uh, this elevator, uh, basically you can take that back up there in case you want to go, uh, back up there for some reason. I don't know why you would, but, you know, it's there. Uh, there's a save point here, so I recommend you take that, because in this next room, there's a boss fight, but we don't really need that. Uh, it's not exactly a tough boss fight, and... That's what I, I give. I get for saying the boss is easy. If it, in this area. Of course, we're not even too bad boss yet, so we're not going to worry about that. Even though we're coming up. All right. Well, whatever. Let's just finish these guys. Circle. And all right. Never stood a never stood a chance. <laughs> all right. Um, so now, before we go into this, um, I want to use some items real quick to, uh, just heal everybody. We well, definitely need some, uh, orange shells. And maybe lemon gels, so I don't really need any. Uh, rain, why not? This fight isn't too hard, but, you know, never hurts to be fully healed up. Alright. Okay, I guess we have a couple of these left. Ow. Alright. Well, anyway, heading for this teleporter is the boss, so let's go! That's as far as you go. You're poor Cestus. Well, well, so you remember me. It looks like it was a mistake to have let you live. I guess I'll have to take care of you personally. So, you're poor Cestus. If death is what you seek, shall have it. Tough talk from a human. You're the one who's going to die along with this tainted world. Even if the world is lost, you can escape to Daris Karlon. Is that what you're thinking? How naive. What did you say? 
The Zions are nothing but expendable pawns to you, Drasil. He'd never bother to save you. Silence! How dare you speak ill of Lord Yggdrasil? We have Garrus Karloff. It is a world of mana, the very source of life. The destruction of this tainted world is of no concern to us. More twisted logic. Is this Crucius's idea? Lord Yggdrasil's orders are absolute. Because Martell is fused with the Great Seed. Are you saying that fool would go this far just to protect her? You speak as if you know him. Who are you? Ugh, your babbling is driving me nuts. Let's just ignore this idiot. We don't have the time to be dealing with the Desion's victim complex. I know! You will not get past me! Alright, so yeah, remember Four Cesus uh, from a really long time ago? We're actually gonna fight him now. Alright, so starting off... Uh, of course, we're just going to want to use the magic lens. Um, Alright, so he has 20,000 health and is resistant to wind. But he has these two enemies around him, the um, X Bones. So we're going to want to make sure we take care of those first. Obviously, because um, why would we not take care of them first? We're just going to make our lives so much easier. We're just going to spam Lightning Blade, Super Lightning Blade, pretty much. Um, Come on, let's just, I need, I need to take care of these guys as quickly as possible. That's why I'm just spamming arts, because I really need to get rid of these guys now. Now, um, he's pretty annoying how he can actually hit from uh, across the field so he can hit your spellcasters. This is why I recommend not having too many spellcasters besides just rain. So, um, yeah, we took care of those guys fairly quickly, so now we can actually focus on him. Uh, now, he's not really too tough. Uh, he already took 5,000 damage, alright. Uh, so let's just... Rain, why aren't you doing your job of healing? Whatever. Unison attack. Alright. I like how Ray only hit him once. Uh, so we're gonna do this. Goongar. Alright, so that did some alright damage. Um, uh, let's just keep pounding on him. Nurse, alright. We're just gonna keep spamming Super Lightning Blade and Lightning Blade, I guess, until I run out of TP. Uh, which apparently is... Alright, um... Zos, you use the Pineapple Shell on Kratos, please. Alright, Cyclone, shit. Oh boy, okay, yeah, that definitely hurts. He has 7,000 health left, almost done. Lightning Blade, Super Lightning Blade. Come on, we're just gonna keep doing this. Should be almost done. Alright, overwhelming crap. Uh, let's just have everyone guard. Ooh, air force crap. Oh, okay, that's annoyed. Stop it! In fact, I should probably just be guarding. Uh, crap. Rain, you need to do your job of healing. Oh, crap, she has 12 HP left. Um, 41 health. <laughs> Alright, wow, uh, that was close, uh, er, people were close to dying. Uh, no one actually died. And, okay, of course I got a minus .46 grade. Fine game. Stop the mana reactor. I don't have a clue what any of this stuff does. I'll handle this. You sure are handy with everything swordsmanship, magic, even operating machines. I've lived a little longer than most humans. Lived longer? So you're a half elf too? But then again, he called you human earlier. Focus on what's important. We must stop the giant tree. Uh, yeah. Alright, so um, now that we've defeated Four Cesus, uh, all we really need to do is just head out of here then. Uh, holy bottle. And alright, uh, let's get out. There's no reason for us to be here anymore. Now, after we beat Four Cesus, um, all of the laser traps are disabled, but there are still enemies here. 
So, if you want to grind, then, you know, that's fine, but, um, really makes sense to do the grinding before the boss, um, but I don't know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, getting out of here is pretty quick, um, we're just gonna need to head down here, and, uh, alright. Was contact Sheena and you will do no such thing. No, I am one of the five grand cardinals. I won't die so easily. I'm taking all of you inferior beings with me. So, this is how the great design hero for Cestus meets his end. I'm disappointed. I see, I get it now. I wondered how a mere human could exude the smell of mana. Your Kratos, what of it? Lord Yggdrasil trusted you, yet in the end, you betray us. This is why humans can never be trusted. Ugh! No! You bastard! Lord Yggdrasil, glory to the new age of half-elves. Colette, are you okay? What's the... No, don't look! Don't look at me! Lloyd, send the message, quickly. But Colette... The Chosen won't die yet, but if you don't hurry, this world will. Now do it. All right. of everlasting ice. Hammer of godly thunder. Servant of Mother Earth. Envoy from the dark abyss. Command thee, gatherest before me, and unleash thine power. Okay, guys, I'm counting on you. You mustn't get up. What was that cry? Martell, I would assume. The out-of-control Great Seed is Martell herself. I wonder... The Great Seed is once again bound in the holy ground of Carlon. For that, I owe you my gratitude. 
Thank you. It seems that you have managed to save the Great Seed as well as this world. If the Great Seed is intact, then I presume Martell, who's fused with it, is safe as well? I'm sure that's good news for you. I wish I could say the same for me. Colette, it looks like things have settled down. It's gross, isn't it? It's disgusting, isn't it? It's... It, it's... Uh... It's not at all. Stay away! Don't look at me! Colette! It's okay, she just fainted. Let's take her back to the village. To Isalia? But Lloyd and I were banished. Colette's home is in Isalia. Besides, we can't just leave behind the people who were held at the ranch. All right. Let's go to Isalia. Then I'll notify Sheena to meet you at Isalia. Farewell for now. I see. So the angels of Crucius were really half-elves. Please don't tell anyone about this. We don't want to start a panic. Indeed. Especially now that the Tower of Salvation is gone, I wouldn't dare tell people the truth. Tower of Salvation is gone? After that frightening earthquake, the tower disappeared from the eastern sky, along with that monstrosity. How could it disappear? I don't know. The Chosen never completed the ritual of regeneration. The Crucius Core system, which controls the appearance of the tower, may have malfunctioned. It is of little consequence. No, it's not. It's a tremendous shock to the people of Silverant. After a giant earthquake sunders the land, the symbol of salvation vanishes. The Chosen will be held responsible. Why? Lots of other Chosen have failed up till now, too. The others have paid for their failure with their lives. But Colette is still alive. When people are suffering, they feel the need to place the blame on someone. It is not fair to Colette. I'm gonna go see what's going on in the village. I'll go too. Let's all go together then. Sounds like it's a bit sketchy for you to be walking around by yourself. I'll stay here. Go on. Alright, so, um... Yeah, Kratos uh, leaves us, as well as Klet's no longer with us, because, um, I don't know, I presume she's up in bed sleeping. I don't know. Should we go look at her? No, I'm just kidding. Alright, now if we come over here by the school, uh, what's all this commotion? This is an outrage! Those who were banished for, um, returning without permission? The Chosen failed, uh, um, at I don't know what that word even means, really. <laughs> It's the end of the world. Well, he certainly hasn't changed. And on top of all that, people um, we thought were elves are actually half-elves? I bet you were the ones that led the Zions here to attack the, the, this village. What did you say? Mayor, he's only a child. It doesn't matter. If he's a child, he's a half-elf. I've heard enough from you. Now listen. It's true that Janus and Pro the Professor are half-elves. But so what? <clears throat> there are good half elves, just as there are bad humans. <clears throat> what does that kid know? You were raised by a dwarf. There's no wonder you caused the chosen to fail her journey. This guy's a real dick. And he, um, and you even brought a bunch of dirty prisoners back here. It's intolerant how much pain you've caused the good humans of this village. <clears throat> what? That's enough. You're just complaining about everything. Does any part of uh, besides your mouth even work? Chocolat. Yeah, you tell him. I've heard, um, had all I can handle of this chump. You criticize and attack people for their birth and upbringing, things they cannot change. It is you who are not human. What? Well, we have an arrangement with the designs. I have a duty to protect this village, isn't that right? Say something. Genius is the smartest person in this village. He knows factorizations that you don't know. The professor is scary when she's angry, but I know the an um, but I know the answer. She's happy too. Lloyd isn't any good at school, but he's the strongest in the village. He saved me when I was attacked by monsters. Clut, she's always falling down and stuff, but she never cries. 
She doesn't cry even when it hurts. Clet is, is really grown up. Everyone. Rain. Shut up. You children go away. Those children understand the truth much better than you. Who do you think you are? It's not just um, you. Everybody shoved the responsibility on the chosen, Lloyd and the others. What have you done? You've done not ap you haven't done anything. We are powerless. Yes. But even powerless, we can still aid the chosen and her companions when they return exhausted to this village. Mary, your words are so shallow that even a child can see through them. You say that you are powerless and force everything onto the chosen, but when um, push comes to shove, your turn and uh, you turn and blame her. That's just too much. For Cesus is dead. There is no restrictions upon this village. We will take in the chosen and her companions and people f uh, from the ranch. And Mayor, we're not going to let you say a word about it. Yeah. Everyone, are you sure? I'm a half elf, remember? But you were raised in this village, and Lloyd is like a member of this village too. Thank you, everyone. Fine, do what you want. I must apologize too. What? You saved me, and yet I couldn't bring myself to accept it. I heard at the ranch about how you were kind to Grandma. Thank you. Thank you, Chocolat. I'll always remember remember Marble for the rest of my life. Alright, so, um, I think we're gonna end things off here. Next time, let's play Tales of Symphonia. Um, I guess we're gonna do some more exploring around Azalea and see what's wrong with Colette. See you guys then!